Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're finally done with Cobra Kai Season 4. I did this right before I finished editing up Part 2 of Episode 10, the finale. I am way calmer. I have relaxed. I just wanted to throw this in the beginning because I chopped it up into two parts. There's no intro for this one. So because of that, I figured I'd say a few things, and I wanted to show you guys something that I talked about during the show that I wasn't able to actually show you guys, and I kept forgetting to bring it up until now. So I figured I'd show you that, and then I'll say something real quick, and then you guys could watch the second half of the finale of season four. So this is what I was talking about in the episode. If you guys heard me mention, we went to a Monster Mania convention in Cherry Hill. I live in New Jersey. There is a hell of a glare on that. But as you could say, you could say it's me in the Cobra Kai shirt that I wore for all the episodes. That's my sister next to me. We're with Kreese and Johnny. That's why when he was doing that pose in the photograph, I said, oh my God, he's doing the pose. Like, I guess that's Johnny Lawrence's pose. But we did it. At the uh, Monster Mania Cherry Hill thing, it's every, like, October, I think it's in, but that was interesting. I just thought that was cool. We did this this October that just passed, so, like, a couple months ago. I forget what it cost, but it was it was well worth it. I went because of that. That was the whole reason I went to Monster Mania. I mean, there was other things that were there cool. I think I did a couple other autographs and photo ops and stuff, but that was the whole reason I went. Really cool. Got to meet him, got to talk, got to shake his hand and, and say a few words. Glorious. Besides that, now that we're done with Cobra Kai, this happened last year too, where I was like, what do I do with my Cobra Kai fans? I still talk to some of you throughout the year and things like that, but I don't really have a show or know any shows that you guys follow. Like, I don't have a good handle on what the Cobra Kai people follow show-wise. Maybe it's just this and that's it, but certain people follow certain shows and certain genres. So I was thinking, should I rewatch Karate Kid 3 or something like that, since it is the most relevant on this series with Terry Silver and all that? Or should I watch something else related? You guys, let me know in the chat if you want me to watch Karate Kid 3 or something else somewhat related, something that might not have been seen by me that is Karate Kid oriented or something. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. Write Cobra Kai Never Dies and give me your suggestion for what I should watch. I'm curious to see if there is something that is like similar to this that I'm totally out of the loop with. The only reason I found this is because when it originally aired I was a massive Karate Kid fan since I was a wee little lad and I kind of just jumped on this and it worked out where like it was a massive hit. So like I said one of my favorite shows of the last 10 or 20 years. I can't get enough of it. You guys enjoy the second part of the finale of season four, and we'll talk more at the end. I want your help. Yeah, we want to band together at the you end. And I may be set in our ways. They can learn from both of us. Yes. And use what we teach them to create their own way. But I forgot one of his most important lessons. You gotta grow. Just like bonsai, choose own way, grow. Karate, same reason. Chills running up and down my body. One day, you do. Some of what you teach can be good sometimes. And I'm sorry I didn't realize that sooner. I'm sorry, too. Quality. I saw you and Miguel bonding. Quality. And... Everyone see communication. I was afraid of losing that connection. I should have just let him train with you. You'd have been a stronger fighter. Well, since it seems the water is flowing back under the bridge. You want me to help Miyagi do win? Miyagi. Miyagi Fang. Miyagi Fang. For today. Miyagi Fang is, I don't know. It doesn't have a ring to it. What do you got to think about? Your team is out. And now you all realize you're right and wrong about everything. The Queen Cobra herself, Tori Nicole, and representing Miyagi do La Russo, two time All Valley champion Daniel LaRusso, who will be joined by Sensei Johnny Wick. Miyagi Fang. Fellow two time champion. Oh, that was sweet. Sensei Johnny Lawrence. Use all that fire. Oh my God. Yes, Sensei. Good luck. You'll need it. Tori shouldn't need it. Yes, Sensei. Miyagi Do or Eagle Fang, I want you to be you. Uh, oh, that is cute, though. He's tearing up. I like it. Go kick some corn. Take your position. Just fight fair. I feel like Tori could win fair. Fight. At point. Point. One zero. Flying tornado kick. Flying tornado kick. I've seen what's inside. You let it out. Tori has trouble controlling her anger. Tori's got a very unorthodox stance. You gotta be like close. That's a weird style of almost like she's throwing. That's right. Every now and then. This is way closer than I thought it would be. Oh. 
What, is she gonna go solid defense into a strong offense or something? No! She knocked her out of bounds. Is Silver paying the refs because they've made some judgmental calls? Sam's technique definitely stepped up a lot. Ready? Next point wins, which means Sam should already won. Ha! Oh! Warning. That should be a point to yeah. No, it was an Go to your sensei. I think she flailed their hey, tumbling. She got me good. She got her good. Her shot to the other eye. She can't see, she can't fight. Do exactly what you just did. This ref will never end the match on a technicality. He said the ref will never on a technicality because he paid him. Come on, who's the loser now? Who's the loser? Is Kreese actually learning? This is your fight now. It's up to you. I love it. Like two episodes ago, he almost told Silver to go fuck himself because he was becoming too soft. It's like a very contradictory, but I dig it. I mean, it would only be right for Sam to win. She got elbowed illegally and then won, and it was called out of bounds. But life's not fair. But I think it'll happen. I think she's going to do it. Everyone's blocking. Everyone's blocking everything. Oh. Point. Winner. <laughs> that was fair fight. She won fair and square. That was legit. The grand champion trophy. And still the baddest dojo in the valley. Cobra Kai! Ah! Thank you. He's going to say we're opening up dojos everywhere. Mike Barnes. We'll soon be opening Cobra Kai franchises throughout the entire valley. And learn Cobra Kai's way of the fist. Cobra Kai! Cobra Kai! I think a bomb's coming. Hey. It's not your fault. These matches were fair as fuck. Fair could be. It seems like for the most part, everyone played a fair match. He left before the finals. I'm so sorry. I bet you he went to go see his father. There is just a wrench thrown in their relationship constantly. So that possibly Elizabeth Shue maybe comes back in. I would have bet money they would have won, but different way. No. Oh, he paid off the ref. As soon as he said, believe me, this guy wouldn't go on a technicality. She should have lost. That's the lesson learned here. Okay. I'm like, where's the lesson here? Earlier in one of the other fights, he made a, a weird call. I'll let that slide, but you do it twice. Similar calls. Done twice. Why are they bailing? Maybe they're going big. Maybe they're going much higher scale, like luxury suites and all sorts of craziness. Bobby, what happened here? Moving to a new location. Yeah, bigger, better joint. Cause Terry's got money. Kicked ass today. Could have gone either way. Yeah, it's just a match. Don't let it eat you up. Trust me. It's not that. Um, it's this kid. I thought I could take him under my wing. And you messed him up. But hey. Good mentor. I wish I had when I was younger. And you messed up. But hey, you're young. When I saw him today. It, uh, it's like looking at him here. And I thought I could use Cobra Kai to control that. Plenty of time, dude. You're young. You had a good thing going with Larusa. I got in the way of that. Don't blame yourself. You blame me. I'm sick of blaming you guys. This is nice. Make the mistakes they made and then relate. It's gonna be all right. We'll figure this out. We're figuring it out. That's great. Leave it on that. I'll deal with that in season five. 1998 following. Is that like a big deal? 98? You reawakened something in me. But now, get in line, bitch. That's what he's gonna say. To Cobra Kai. I'm waiting for it. I gotta say, I'm surprised you backed off on Nichols. What's you going on here? When you asked me what I thought your weakness was. Johnny. Johnny Lawrence. It's not true. Yes, it is. He's taking Cobra Kai You're from him. You know why? And your mine. And mine. Is you. It's you. Well, you got it backwards because I am your strength. There it is. I can always count on you playing the guilt card. <laughs> He framed him. The second I saw Stingray, he framed him. Give me his name and I promise you I'll put him away for a long, long time. I'll make you Cobra Kai if you say it was Kreese. I'll make you Cobra Kai. You gotta do something for me. His name is Sensei Kreese. I'm shedding my weakness, Captain. 
John Kreese, you're under arrest. What did you do? Oh, now he struck an officer. I'm sure I can dig up an old friend or two to help out with Cobra Kai. I am Cobra Kai. Don't worry about Lawrence. I'll take good care of him too. And the piano kicks in. It wasn't like I thought in a lot of ways, but it ends up the same result. So Terry wasn't necessarily playing him. Terry admitted his weakness. His weakness worked temporarily. Genius. Genius. He went to go see his father. The last few months have been a roller coaster. I thought that if I won, that everything would work out. Sensei was scared to find out the truth about his past. Mexico, here we come. I need to meet my father. This is something I have to I... do. I love you, Mom. And yeah, yeah, too. I'm gonna find him and I'll make sure he's safe. There's something I didn't tell you about my He's a champion boxer or something. He said he's a bad dude. He doesn't know Miguel exists. All right, Miyagi. He died on my mom's birthday, my November 15th. I might have said this before. Now I'm supposed to give up my dojo and step down as a sensei. I'm totally forgetting the deal. They got to I, I like so many things are going on. I need to do whatever it takes to stop them. Even if that means going on offense. I know this isn't your fight. And this is a lot to ask. But will you help me finally put an end to Cobra Kai? Ah! What? And he'll run it, so it'll be like him coming in with a new name. Oh my god, I have chills everywhere again. I did not expect that at all. Oh my god, I think I just tore my biceps, squeezing my fist. All right, guys, that was it. Amazing. I loved everything about it. There was a lot of twists, a lot of things I didn't expect, a lot of things I did expect. I like that, though. There is an even balance balance. There is an even mix and a balance of surprises, I guess you'd say. I like when a show isn't completely ridiculous and you could guess some things, but I also like a twist or two in the mix and we got them all. In the beginning, I, I totally forgot to point this out, but it was in the back of my head the whole time. I'm thinking, what is Terry got to do with beating the crap out of Stingray. Like, he beats the shit out of him. And I'm thinking, there's a plan for this, because he would get an assault charge or something. I mean, he was teeing off on this dude. And I'm thinking, that's not good. That's not a good thing. And then I'm thinking, okay, how could he rearrange all this? He tells him, See, I didn't know it was going to go to that extent. I'm thinking that Terry's going to say, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. And then I'm going to frame Johnny or Daniel. That's where I thought it was going. I thought it was going to be like Johnny and Daniel were going to get framed and they're going to be like about to win the All Valley and cops are going to run in and go, that's the guy. And whoever is the winning coach, the winning sensei is going to be the one they framed. That's where I thought it was going. It was sort of like that. But instead, it was because of Crease and Silver going at odds with each other. Silver and Crease are going at odds with each other the whole time. But it's like under the surface. It's psychological the whole time. Everything is psychological. And I mean, I, I, the only mistake I made here with Terry is I can't believe that Terry would have been that weak in the beginning. Like, I thought he was playing Crease the whole time. I thought it was going so far as to him faking it when they were in the Vietnam War together. I thought he was going to say, dude, I wasn't pissing my pants. I was just like, I'll let this schmuck go out there and fight the sergeant, and then I'll live another day. And then the they got saved, and then he's like, I owe you my life. He's like a master manipulator, but that wasn't the case. He really was sincere, and Crease is his weakness. So he said at the end, that's the case. It's a, it's a weakness. And I knew that Johnny was Crease's. I'm saying Crease's weakness is that he he's just too aggressive and over the top and stuff. I mean, it makes sense that it's pinpointed to Johnny. I don't know if I actually said Johnny, but I'd have to go back and look. I'm going to find out in a second when I go back and re-edit all these for the next 10 or 12 hours. But I have to assume that at that point, Terry was literally just out of the swing of things, let's say. He was not regular Terry. He waited 35 years. He's with this girl on a journey and they're all rich with their money in the hills and he doesn't do anything. So I guess he put his guard down. It created him a soft exterior. And he even said at the end there, he goes, thanks for reminding me. The second he poured the champagne and said, thanks for reminding me that we have weaknesses and blah, 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 blah. As soon as he said that, I'm like, here it comes. Here it comes. I don't know how bad it's going to be, but here it comes. And then we bring back Stingray Everything comes to a thing. I mean, they did what they did in the end of season three. They hinted to Terry. I mean, they did say Silver's name in one of the episodes, and I totally missed it last season, but they're doing a similar thing where Crease makes a phone call, and you're like, I know where they're going with this. He said, 
I got at least one or two friends I could call that'll definitely help me line up all these dojos. So don't you worry about me. And that means to me, Mike Barnes is coming in. Maybe the other guys that dealt with Mike Barnes. I am brain farting on what the other dude's name is. He had a nickname and he was this short, fat dude from Karate Kid 3. I am mad at myself for not knowing his name. And I can look it up right now, but I don't feel like it. Snake. My guess is Mike Barnes is coming in with Snake and they're going to run shit with Terry Silver. And now we're going to have Crease in prison or at least on trial for the savage beating of Stingray. And I mean, guys, I don't... I mean, I, that could lead to something totally different. Kreese can meet dudes in prison and come back like a hardened mental person, even worse than he already is. That's the sad part. Everyone switches sides constantly. And this is the first time we've seen Kreese basically like a, a humble, nice guy. And then he gets the shit smacked out of him and has this happen at the end. So Jesus Christmas. But besides all that, I mean, that was the part, uh, uh, everything revolved around the All Valley Tournament since the end of last season, and uh, that to me is like uh, not even the biggest thing that happened. Miguel's going to Mexico, he, like, I, I mean, like, uh, nothing really happened the way I thought it would in the tournament. I thought Miguel was going to be a big deal. I thought it was going to be a total reversal of who actually won the championships for the girls and the guys. But in the end, I figured the same result. I figured the same result. And now, I mean, that's the way it's got to go. If you have the good guys win, then it's almost like, what, you make the bad guys more evil? It's almost better that you constantly keep making the bad guys win the day because then it's like, what do we what do we keep working at here? But now that makes sense that Miguel would leave and stuff like that. And, and I feel like his father is a Mexican boxer and he's going to go there. She said, I never told you something, but Miguel never, his father doesn't know who he is. I thought she was going to be like, Miguel's father is... Uh, the greatest Mexican boxer that ever lived. He's going to come back and be like a shredded brawler or something, like a crazy criminal. But no, I mean, that might be happening, but who knows? Besides that, there's so many other things. Tori looks like she learned the error of her ways. Amanda, her too. Daniel, I mean, lots of emotional scenes going on between Johnny and Miguel and Miguel said goodbye. To, I mean, it was kind of shitty. He bailed on Sam like he did, but I don't want to talk for a year and a day. I'm going to collect all my thoughts while I edit, figure out things I didn't see the first time around. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should touch on before I go. I mean, Devin Lee is going to come back better next year. There's a lot of new people. Kenny, my God, Kenny ended up being a bad apple, let's just say. I mean, it was Robbie's fault and Robbie now gained respect for his father, so to speak, or at least understands and relates to him better because of the mistakes he made. And Kenny needed to become Kenny in order for him to figure that out. So, I mean, maybe we'll see his brother next year. Sean might come back. I feel like everyone's going to switch sides again for a, a, a small part. Like Robbie's now like, you know, wanting to get out. Miguel's gone. I feel like Sean's going to get out of Juvie and maybe join up with Cobra Kai. Kenny is tainted now, but he, I mean, everyone goes full circle at some point. I'm going to edit these up. You guys let me know what you think. You want to see more of what I do, full on edited reactions to this and other shows I do. Patreon like in front of me. If you're seeing it on YouTube, we are obviously done in full. Seasons ahead on other shows and hundreds of exclusives only on Patreon. Link in front of me. If not, comments down below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.